Quiz Prep Chapter 3.3 Alrighty, so I moved our information over here so we could get a better look at it. So we've got our hospital information over here and then the questions 1 through 6 we're trying to answer over here on the right side. So uh, let's get started. So in order to answer minimum Q1, median Q3, maximum, we really just need to put everything in order. Okay, so it's hard to do, but let's just try. So we know, I was making fun of them, I shouldn't have. We know that we have these two eights at the beginning, right? So uh, what comes after those eights? So there's a 50, right? Oh, I almost screwed up. There's a 39. Let's do the 39. This is easier. This is harder than it looks. And then where's our 50? Here's our 50. Whoops. Here's our 50. Okay. Uh, made it so far. There's a 65 in there. 65, right? That's an order. Then a 92. 92. It's Virginia. Next we got 104 is North Carolina. And 116 is Georgia. 116. And then I was also making fun of Florida. Big, big money, big money. Um, so let's just count these up to make sure we have nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we put them all in order, and you help me double check them. All right. So what's the low? Let's look at Q1. Well, it looks pretty obvious. That's eight. Well, let's skip ahead to Q5. You know, this is the minimum here. And, uh, or I'm sorry, yeah, Q5, Q5, that's a maximum, so that's obviously over here, 2, 1, 4, right? So now the median, well, let's pick a different color, make it easier. So this is position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now that we have them more, we can do this, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? So uh, where's the median? That's going to be the, the, since this is odd number, it's going to be the middle one here. So we've got a median then of, uh, we'll fill it in, right? That's 65, right? So now we get to the new part, which is what do you do for the Q1 and the Q3, or quartile 1 and quartile 3? So uh, we're going to do the brazy and brazy way because there's also other ways and um, there's not other ways to get the median but there's other ways to get Q1 and Q3 but we're going to do the brazy and brazy way so what the brazy and brazy way says is when you've got an odd number of an odd n and so then your median is like here there's like a middle number that's your median then that gets next from the next part, which is figuring out Q1 and Q3. So to figure out Q1, you then make a median of the ones that are downstairs here. So if there's one, two, three, four, you would take these and you do, what is it, eight plus 39 over two, right? And what would you get if you did that? You get 23.5. Right, there's a point there. Okay, and then for Q3, so that's higher. Three is higher, and that's where the number is here. Again, you'd sort of forget that middle one, and you do like a median of the top half. So 104 plus 116 divided by 2. And that actually, I did that already. That equals uh, um, 110. All right, there. So what do we do now for our interquartile range? Well, remember what range is. Range is the maximum minus the minimum, okay? So the interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. So uh, let's make a little room here. This is kind of ugly. Just gonna erase all this because I want to do the interquartile range. Okay, so now we're gonna do the interquartile range, which is one whoops. One one zero, oh, which is Q three minus twenty three point five. And what do you get if you do that? You get equals 
86.5. And let's put that where it belongs, 86.5. Good, so we made it through questions one through six. Now let's move ahead. Okay, now that we calculated all the ingredients for our box and whisker plot, we really ought to draw one, right? So as you can see, I put our little blank up here. Um, just notice that what it says is it says number of hospitals over there, right? Um, because remember the minimum was eight, that was low. So so that's, that's why uh, that axis has zero to 250 because that's what you need, okay? And you have nothing on the x-axis. This is kind of a weird plot in that way. All right, so let's start. So what I usually do is I start with a whisker, okay, the, the minimum whisker. So here's our minimum is eight. So zero to 50, let's do a little eight here. And you do them kind of short like that. All right, um, now let's go up to Q1. Q1 is 23.5. Ooh, that's kind of kind of maybe halfway in. Now, this is going to be twice as long, and you want to put it kind of like that. See that? I'm not the best artist at these things. Okay, let's go up to median. Median is at 65, so that's going to be a little over this 50 here, and that's got to be parallel with that um, Q11. So let's do that here. Okay, there we made it. Uh, Q3. That's going to be a long E, and that's at 110, so that's up here, right? So here we go. Okay, by now we can connect our boxy. This is the box and the box plot. Okay, let's see. that's great. And we can talk, do our bottom whisker. Look at that. Whoops. Oh. Here, here's a nice, I don't know. I'm making it worse. Okay, that's our whisker. I'll show you a, a more uh, a post-processed version. Okay, where's our maximum? It's 214. Woo, that's way up here. That's Florida's fault. So 214 here, and then we'll draw it down. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so this, one of the things that this shows is a distribution, because if you can imagine like a roller coaster, right? So let's say a roller coaster, you know, you like go up this way and then you go wee down like this. But, you know, if you kind of imagine that, that's, and you flew over the roller coaster, that's kind of where that is. And see this long part, that's where you come down. So what you see when I'm giving it away is this is probably like skewed right, okay? And this interquartile range, I just want to point out that's this thing here. So here's the actual question, which is to select the correct box and whisker plot from the choices. So let's start with this one. This obviously isn't right, because remember that thing I said about the roller coaster that it looked like it was skewed, but these look pretty even. Um, that can't be right. And, and this one, it's skewed, but it's the wrong side, right? Remember I said you go up and then you go down. This one looks a little bit right, but when you think about it, remember how Q three was like above uh, 100 here and uh, you know this is really the right one down here because remember we had this little tiny thing up here and then Florida was way up there so this is the correct answer all right so there you go you're all prepped for uh, chapter 3.3 quiz good luck